Hello, my friends. I am excited to show you our brand new science unit that is just coming out called homesteading. I was so excited to make this. So we live on a small homestead in Ohio. And so I've been wanting since pretty much the moment we stepped foot on this property to make a homesteading curriculum, especially over the past couple of years of getting our chickens, making our great garden, all of the cool things I have just been itching. And so I finally did it. It's finally ready for you, and I am so excited to show you everything that's inside. So here it is, so beautiful. Ben's even got a cute little farmer hat on. I love it, it makes me so excited. So this is a science unit for all elementary ages. You can even use this for your middle schoolers. My sixth grader did this along with us. Um, we have books included um, that's on the back of the resource list as well. Um, for our middle school book list we have for all of our sciences, so you can use it for multiple age groups inside of your home to have a great family school feel um, for doing it with more than one kiddo at a time to make your life easy. So there are nine lessons inside of this. Let me get my notes so I don't forget what the lessons are. Um, so the nine different lessons that are inside are homesteading, anatomy of a farm, gardening and bees, chickens, of course, horses, livestock, food, soil and composting and homemade goods. So it really covers so many different aspects of home, of homesteading. It's not just gardening, it's not just animals, it's sourdough, it's quilting, candle making, um, even farm equipment, all that kind of stuff that your kiddos can dive into to really get a feel of homesteading. So this is great if you live on a homestead because it's things that your kids can relate to. It's very much so everyday life for them that they're just digging more deeper into. And it's great for those of you who don't live in a homestead, who, whose kids can just get that idea of that different culture because it is, it's different out here than living in a city. We've lived really all over the world. And so this is different than a lot of places that we've lived and it's a whole different lifestyle. And so I'm really excited to share that with you guys. So with it being a nine lesson unit, that means it takes roughly 18 weeks to go through. So the beauty of rabbit trails is, is you can make it work for you, for your family. So you can do a lesson every two weeks. You can do a deep dive. You could have it done in just that nine weeks. You can take it longer and do even more activities. There's so much room in this curriculum to expand and to do more than what's written. And so it gives you really the opportunity to do a really good deep dive if that's what you want to do. So the three main books that go with this, um, our main spine is Farm Anatomy. I love all the Julia Rothman books. They are just beautiful. So I was really excited to use Farm Anatomy for this. Um, there are so many wonderful illustrations throughout. Um, there's lots of recipes inside of this. There's lots of different parts of stuff. So it really is showing you that anatomy of so many different things, even, um, the actual like farm stuff, showing you the different types of chicken coops and stuff like that. Like she did a really good job of, um, like I, <laughs> this is something I want in my own barn is the, um, cupula on the top of the barn. I keep trying to get my husband. We're in the process of building a barn. Like, can I please have one of these on my barn? So it shows the different types of those even. And I referenced this book to him to say, this is the one that I want. I want the weather vane on top, right? So it shows you a lot of that anatomy of a farm, truly um, different cuts of meat, all that kind of stuff. It's really, really cool. So it's a great spine. Another main book that goes with our very first lesson. Oh, I love this book guys is Farmhouse by Sophie Blackall. It is this beautiful story of this family that lived in this gorgeous farmhouse. And then of course, as what happens with a lot of old houses is the family grew up. They no longer needed the house. They moved away and the house became abandoned and kind of went back to the land. And so at the end of it, Sophie Blackall, this is like a real place that she actually found and like real kind of like artifacts. I guess you could call it that, right? of things from this house. And it's just such a beautiful, beautiful book. Sophie Blackhall's books are just gorgeous, all of them. Um, there's even another book in the horse lesson that she um, just recently came out with. So I even swapped a book out as soon as I saw that because it's a new release. Um, and so that's included inside the um, horse lesson as well. Gorgeous book, so I wanted to include it. Lots of fun stuff for that first lesson. Just look at that, oh my goodness. I love it, I love it. 
And our third spine book, this one's very, very special to me because I helped to write it. So this is Homestead Poetry. And it is a poetry book, obviously, that I curated and got some beautiful poetry because I looked and looked and looked. There was not like a homestead, farmhouse, any of that poetry book for kids out there. Um, and so I was like, that's great. I will collect all of these poems. So there are nine poems inside. There's a new one that I wrote and then just gorgeous poems by like Beatrix Potter. Um, and uh, oh my gosh, how am I forgetting this name? Not that one. Sorry. Hold on. Emily Dickinson. How can I forget her name? Beautiful poem by Emily Dickinson um, for our worm compost lesson. Um, so there's beautiful poems in here by names that you will recognize, some names you may not. Most of them are classics, um, even a lullaby inside of here, and then plus my very own homestead poetry to go with it. So this has poetry for all of the lessons. So all of the lessons include copy work. We will see that as we flip through the curriculum. And all of them will be found in this book as well. So you can grab that on my website too. It's gorgeous. My son illustrated the whole book as well. So I was very excited about that. So let's dive into this curriculum. So if you are familiar with rabbit trails, this is laid out like all of our other rabbit trails. So you're gonna know exactly what to expect. If you are not familiar with rabbit trails, then again, this is exactly what you're gonna see inside of all of our curriculum. We have the same layout for all of our unit studies. It's very simple, but it really gives you that opportunity to go down that rabbit trail as far as you want. I love when I get messages and I get emails and comments and all of that of people that are like, we did this instead or we did this in addition to, because that means that you're really truly embracing those rabbit trails. I would love nothing more than to be out of a job because all these parents felt that they can write this kind of stuff themselves. At the same time, I understand how busy we all are. <laughs> so we have saved you that time to compile it all for you as well. So it starts out with a lesson, which will be reading from the main book, whether it's the farmhouse book or the farm anatomy book, and then it will have some type of observation and journaling that your kiddos can do inside of their journal. Um, we do have a pre-made journal that I'll show you here in just a second, or you can just do it in a regular notebook from Walmart or whatever. There will also be copy work. Um, this will be the copy work from the poetry book. So there's going to be poetry for all the copy work. There is also a Bible verse you can use for copy work in every single lesson. And then down below that Bible verse is just a small Bible lesson that will tie in that verse into whatever the topic is for that lesson. So it really beautifully ties that into it so that your kiddos can um, see how to apply that Bible verse to their lives or to homesteading. Then there is a some fun activity. So this is some type of hands-on activity in every single lesson um, that you will find on that some fun page. After that, this is a good two page spread. So let me open this all up so you can get the full view of it here. So after that, we have our rabbit trails and library list section. So this is more books for you to dive um, deeper into whatever that topic is in homesteading. So this one is just general homesteading in this first lesson. Um, and also a video that you guys can um, watch as well. And we have a QR code in the back where you can access all of the YouTube videos that go with the different lessons. So it makes it super simple for you to find them all. So more books, can you read more books in this? Absolutely. Can you pick and choose and just read one or two? Absolutely. Don't feel pressured to buy any of these. We really try to find books that are available at most libraries that you can find as YouTube read alouds and all of that. We do so much of our research using YouTube read aloud. So a lot of them are found on there as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous books to accompany those lessons. We also have our more ideas page. So on this page, you're going to find vocabulary and you're going to find more ideas on what you can do to go further down that rabbit trail, whether it is an art study, whether it is an idea for a field trip, um, a lot of stuff coming out of the farm anatomy book in here as far as like find the recipe and make it. Um, going to do different things, different hands-on, um, I don't want to say crafts, more handy crafts in this than crafts, right? Because we're homesteading. So you're going to see those kind of more old-fashioned handy crafts happening versus like a cut and paste kind of craft in this. Um, lots of baking lots of handy crafts, lots of ideas to go further down that rabbit trail on this more ideas page. 
So like I have mentioned a couple times, there is a reference page. Let me flip to it. Um, a resource page in the back of this book. So the resource page, we have this in all of our curriculum now, which is awesome. It's been such a cool addition to our curriculum is we have the book list. So if you are wanting to grab those three main books, you can go right here to this book list. This, um, also, this one also has the link to the poetry book since it's not found on Amazon. Um, so you can grab all of those right there through that. No extra cost to you. Gives me that little bit of kickback by being an Amazon affiliate, which I am so thankful for. Um, because that helps things like paying for the website and all that other crazy stuff. And then any other links and kits that you might need to look through in the curriculum, those are found for you here. We don't want you trying to find stuff that's hard to find on the internet. The only things we don't include are like our art studies because most of the time you can choose from like hundreds of websites to see the same painting. Um, and our poetry, which again, the same thing, most of the time hundreds of websites have those same um, pieces of poetry. So we're trying to make sure there aren't those broken links for you when they're so easy to find. The more specific websites are going to be right here for you. And like I said, we have that QR code for all of our YouTube videos. So you can, whether the YouTube video is in the um, rabbit trails page or in the more ideas, they're all gonna be inside of this playlist for you. We also have our journal to go along with this. So like I had said, you can use just a regular journal from or notebook from Walmart or whatever store, or we have it done for you so that there's appropriate pages for everything inside the curriculum. Um, and this is a super inexpensive addition to the curriculum and you can print it out for all your kids or you can choose to pick and choose what pages you want to print, makes it super duper easy. So everything in the journal will have a page for the observation and journaling. And if there was anything else that they should write about um, for that lesson page, there's room for that as well. There is space for all of their copy work and the Bible copy work as well. There's a whole separate page for that. There's a page for while they're watching the videos that they can put any of the things they learned or ideas or anything from the video on this page. There is a page for additional books, whatever they wanted to write down about that book, whether it's something they loved, whether it's just something they learned, there's space to do that here. And then any of the pages for more ideas. Some lessons will have more pages than others, just based on how much you need for those more ideas. Um, not super duper page heavy in this, since again, so much of it with being homesteading is hands on that you don't need pages for it in the more ideas section. So this one has one page for the more ideas and something, oh, sorry, two pages, da -da -da, backside, um, and it has vocabulary cards. So this is something my son loves to utilize, is instead of being boring, just writing in his notebook like we used to do, he now has these vocabulary cards. And these are blank on the back. So if there's multiple pages of vocabulary cards, they will all be blank on the back so that you can cut them out if you want. You can hang them on a line in your schoolroom. You can just have them in a stack somewhere, or you can just keep them in this binder just like this, and you can make it really, really simple. Um, so having those vocabulary cards has been a hit with him um, to have that because they all have like cute different little pictures. This one's a little farm. Every lesson has a new picture on the vocabulary cards. So that is an idea of what that journal looks like as well. So this is a gorgeous curriculum. I have been waiting so many months to get this out to you guys. And it's finally here. Rabbit Trails Through Science Homesteading. I hope you love it. I have the link for you guys down in the description. So it makes it super easy to find. Um, and like I said, the links to all the books you need are in the back on that resource page. Everything you need is in one spot makes it super easy. So I hope that you love it as well. Feel free to comment any questions you have. And if you have it, I would love to hear from you down in the comments as well for how much your kiddos are loving it. All right. I will see you guys later. Take care.